Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to work with data which are collected in a txt files, how to load it to MATLAB and organize it in a structure to work with it. Okay, so the idea is I have the directory with the txt files and each of the these files contain a big set of data which is actually a matrix, but a quite big one. There is uh, 46 records and more than 800 columns. Okay, so I've got such a big sets of data and how to handle it using MATLAB. This is actually quite simple and uh, I will show you just, just now. Okay, so we will need two functions. Uh, first of all, we will need the function uh, dir. So, to show, uh, to show you what it is, I just type help and dear. And this function will be mm, needed to list the content of this directory. So it lists uh, for me the names of the files in there. Okay. Uh, the other function I will use is the fscanf function. Okay. And this function uh, is uh, for read my data from the from the txt file. So here is a help. If you need, you can read it. But for now, uh, just go to to our task. So I open new script and start to to write. First of all, uh, first of all, I can put some comment here. It can be useful. Comment. It's not important now. Okay, and first of all, uh, I create some variable and I will assign to it the result of uh, the dear function. Okay, so dear, and now I should place here a path to my directory, but my directory is directly when I am now, so this path is in this case only the name of this directory. Okay, so just data. Okay, and uh, uh, when I started, you can see that my uh, the, the, the dear function returns the array of structure of structures, which is six elements. But I have only four files here. And what's going on? These two first elements of this array contains actually a dots and some informations uh, which in my experience never was useful for me. So first what I need to do is just remove those two elements. Okay. And I do it in like this. Data. Data from third element to the end. Okay. And what I have now, oh, I'm sorry, just a type mistake. Okay, what I have now is my structure, but without this, uh, these elements which I don't need. Okay, so this is the structure. And now uh, we need to uh, open our files and then read the data. There are four files, so we we will do it with uh, with a for loop. For k equal one. Step one to max size of data. This is because data is an array of structures. Okay, so we will have one iteration of this loop for each uh, element in this array. Okay. And now, first we need to do is to have a path to the file. So, I create a variable and then I create a path using the function horsecut. This function I already present in another film about the structures. And, uh, as a, and this function uh, combine two elements, combine in a horizontal way. So I need 
the name of my directory which is data then I need a slash and then I need a name of the file and the name of the file is in my array of structures which is called data I need the cave element of it and then as you can see here I need to go to the field called name okay so I go to this field name and now I have uh, my path to a field because it's data slash name of the file which is here okay so that's the path now I need to open my uh, file okay Uh, the function f open will open the file now I put here the uh, path which is in this variable okay and the function f open returns two values the ID of my file and also the information uh, about uh, the opening process what does it mean if ID is less than zero uh, then disp com so uh, you can read about it in the help the idea is that if the ID is less than zero that means that there was some problem in opening so the, the file wasn't opened properly in this case I would like to see the information that the fopen function provides to me so if there was some problem then the ID should be less than zero and then here I will have displayed the information what was actually uh, wrong with the file okay and then most important uh, line uh, when I uh, create a structure uh, if you didn't see uh, till now uh, please watch my another film about the how to create a structure it will be explained there what I'm doing now but don't be uh, um, don't worry I will explain also here so my data it will be a structure okay so this is this dot notation when the MATLAB understood that I would like to create a structure okay now I use the horse cut function to create the field on this structure in this structure and to this field I will assign my data okay from the file so horse cut date uh, I'm sorry now I create the name so this is a string data okay underscore and then I need to join to this uh, data a name of the file so the name of the file is in data cave so I go to the cave element of this array of structures to the field of name and then because the names of my files are name.txt so I need to remove this .txt I don't want it in my name of uh, structure field so uh, I took all the signs from 1 to minus 4 that actually means that it will be taken only this without these four last uh, characters mean txt and dot okay so I create a file uh, so I create a field on my structure and now I need to assign to this field okay so three dots to go to another line and what I type here it will be understood that as I type it here so this is just a just a go to another line nice so uh, I use the f scan function and then uh, the arguments are ID of the file and the ID is here 
it's returned by the fopen function okay and another two arguments i need is the argument describes the format of my data there so the, in my case i need this kind of argument and it means that my data are the uh, floating point numbers uh, divided by the uh, white space okay so uh, this is the format uh, if you need another format just type help fscanf and then you can read about the formats there okay another information i need to uh, give to this function is the shape of the matrix in the file and in my case it is 46 rows and 807 uh, 8760 columns uh, by the way this is a those are the uh, weather data I mean there are uh, 46 rows and 800 8760 uh, columns because those are the hour averages of those uh, parameters such as temperature solar irradiance and so on and so forth uh, those are the number of the hours during whole year okay i will also provide another videos how to work with this uh, di with this data uh, to how to use the objective orientated programming to uh, to work with it more more efficiently to be able to make some preprocessing of this data such as uh, such as calculating the standard deviations and other other values already during uh, during actually loading the data to your program but this is a topic for another video for now let's test uh, the working of our our program okay so i have my uh, results in my uh, workspace the structure has been created okay and as you can see there is something wrong here okay give me a second yeah here's a mistake so i forgot to type and here okay because it is needed to just remove only uh, last four characters from the name of the file okay so when i start it again okay and i go here and everything is like it should be so data and the name of the file here okay so the, our structure have four fields as we have four files there nice so how we can now access the data in this structure in that way the name of the structure dot the name of the field okay and now if i would like to access for example only the first row so i use first row and all elements and now what i have is this really big vector uh, in here okay so i have the possibility to access data it's quite okay but it's definitely not the most convenient way in other uh, videos i will show you how to use the ideas of objective oriented programming to create much more convenient way to work with this big sets of data to be able to make some pre-processing of this and much much more okay so if you find it useful give the thumbs up subscribe my channel and see you soon